Welcome back, everybody, to Love, Dancing, Music, and Fun. I'm your host, Holy Joe Rock and Roll. Today, we're going to talk about Cabanada, the 10th track on my latest CD, my 8th CD, Love, Dancing, Music, and Fun, or LDMF. Quick sidebar, uh, my, one of my sons mentioned something to me. He said uh, LDMF could mean something different, and uh, we were joking that it was uh, large D, mother effer. So that's just between you and me. Could be, could be that's what it stands for. But I, it originally, and for real, it's love, dancing, music, and fun. Uh, my 10th song is a song that, honestly, I, st- I thought about over 10 years ago. Okay, uh, over 10 years ago when I started learning some Italian. Um, actually, I started learning Italian maybe 20 years ago <clears throat> before I discovered Poland. Um, and, you know, uh, Italian is a, a language with, with really a lot of emphasis on the vowels. And the way the words can easily rhyme if they have the, the similar vowels, like uh, mangi, mangi, uh, uh, like for instance in Italian, voglio, I want, a voglio mangiare spaghetti alla carbonare. But it should be, I know technically it should be spaghetti alla carbonara, but if you wanted to rhyme, you would say voglio mangiare spaghetti alla carbonare, right? Um, there is no such, I mean, carbonare could be the plural version of carbonare, carbonara, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I, I'm still, I just recently started learning Italian again, and that's what motivated me to write this song. Um, it's a real simple song, it's a dance song, it's meant to be a dance song, um, simple language, uh, um, a, a driving beat, and um, uh, repeating voglio mangiare spaghetti alla carbonare like over and over again. And also, also, um, I noticed that the Naples soccer team, um, they have a, a chant where they say, Ale, Ale, or Ale, 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 Ale. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what that means exactly, if it means anything. But um, when I originally came up with the idea, like, uh, like it was probably uh, more than 10 years ago, um, I think it was the first time I grew a goatee in like <laughs> in in modern times, and I actually recorded myself in the bathroom with the, with the idea so that I would record it and remember it. And actually, I posted it on YouTube, but it was a private video. I might share that later on. But in that video, in my original idea, I was saying "ole ole," and I realized that "ole ole" is more Spanish, right? Italians wouldn't say "ole." And then I, when I discovered that the Italians in at least the Naples uh, soccer team or football, uh, t- you know, they, they say ale, ale. So it perfectly fit in there instead of saying ole, um, it's, it's ale, 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 ale. And I put that in there and let, let's see how it starts out. I think, I think right here, you can get a taste of it. Oh yeah. The, uh, the, ooh, I actually did that myself. I took it. I didn't, I didn't even take a deep breath. I just was trying to make a noise, make a, um, like an alarm, like, you know, a, a, like a fire alarm, uh, starting out slow and going higher and higher and higher, uh, until, uh, I got to the right measure. Right. And I, I, my voice cracked toward, towards the end, but here, check it out. So I'm sorry. We started going. So right there, that's incorporating the ale 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 from the uh, recording recording. Um, that's incorporating the ale 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 oh, from the you know that I saw from the Italian football team, and then um, the next part of it, it still has a nice dance beat to it. I think a little bit funky. So, um, you know, it's saying that I want to eat spaghetti alla carbonari, right? Voglio mangiare spaghetti alla carbonari, right? And anyway, so there's a few more phrases in there where I, I, I not only do I say, um, you know, I ask, are you hungry? A fame, are you hungry? And then I say, uh, a tutto bene, it's all good. Voglio mangiare spaghetti alla carbonari, right? And then um, later on I say, what is carbonari? And that's in Italian, that is, um, cosa è carbonari? What is carbonari? And then I define it, right? A prosciutto, formaggio, uovo, and spaghetti. So a prosciutto is uh, like, a, like a pork product. It's like a ham. 
or bacon. It's a, it's a dry aged ham. That's, I think, one of the traditional meats that would would be put into a carbonara, uh, prosciutto. Uh, I guess they can use other. You can use other kinds of, um, you know, bacon, bacon type products, aged products. Um, so that's prosciutto. Formaggio is cheese. Obviously, um, usually it's parmigiano. Um, how we call it? Uh, Parmesan. Parmesan Romigio cheese or other hard cheeses is, is the traditional way. Oh, I left out black pepper, obviously. Okay, so um, wovo is eggs and spaghetti. So, you know, what, right? Um, bacon, essentially a, a type of bacon, cheese, eggs, and take it for right now. Please, I'm recording. I'll, I'll get her in just a second, okay? Okay, hang on a second. Um... I got a little baby and it just, just came in real quick. So apologize that interruption. But um, anyway, Pepe, Pepe is pepper. So I probably could have said, uh, I, I don't know if I could have added pepper in there, but anyway, uh, it worked out fine. So I, I say, you know, are you, are you hungry? I ask, are you hungry? I want to eat spaghetti alla carbonare. Then I say, what is carbonare? And it's all in Italian. The whole song is in Italian. So I'm really excited about this, my first Italian song. And I, I let um, my, I have an Italian friend who's, you know, a native Italian from Rome. And I said, look, look, could you just listen to track 10? Just, just listen to one track. Tell me, does it sound okay? Is it, is it doable? Is it, does it make sense? And he listened to it and he wrote back, I, I love it. So having that kind of feedback, now he could be just pulling my leg, right? It could just be bullshit to me. But the fact that he said he loved it, I, I, I take, I take that as, I think that is good, good feedback, that it's a good song. And um, I like the beat. I like the beat. I like the sound. I like the way. I just like everything about this song. It's just just came together really good. Right. So you got that thing in there, and then of course at the end, uh, similar to the way I did, um, I'm only human. Uh, I had a hook, kind of a an ending hook, where I'm saying. Mangiare, carbonare, to the beat. Mangiare, carbonare. And um, that goes on for a, a little while. I think, whatever, I, I think I repeated it twice. Again, that's maybe, this song itself is only two two minutes and two and a half minutes long. Oh, sorry, two minutes, 49 seconds. So almost two minutes, 50 seconds. I probably should, could have done it a third time just to get that repetition in there and make the song a little bit longer. But... I mean, it is what it is. It's a it's a great song. It's my first uh, foreign language song, and I, I you know, hey, look, if you're Italian, if you're Italian speaker and native speaker, please give me your feedback on this. Uh, I know, I know. Look, I know it's carbonara with an A, and I'm saying carbonare, which could be an E or an I potentially. Um, so <laughs> I don't know if if the plural of carbonara. Would you say, is there a plural for carbonara? Like, voglio mangiare spaghetti alla carbonare. Like, I want to eat, you know, meaning that I want to eat a lot of carbonare, multiple carbonares, right? Not just one spaghetti alla carbonare, but multiple carbonares. I don't know if it works grammatically. It doesn't really matter. It's a song. It's meant to be an entertainment. It's meant for you to dance to. I would love to find out if, if this song picks up in, in Italy and people love it there. And, you know, uh, I hope it becomes a classic song for... Uh, an Italian language classic song. I mean, like like any of the other ones, right? Uh, um, andare, cantare, <laughs> whatever that song. Um, what was that song? That was a Frank Sinatra song, right? Or was it? No, it was. Um, ah, I can't remember the song. Anyway, um, you know where they're talking about uh, cantare. Whoa, a. Yeah, volare, whoa, e cantare, whoa. You know, if it would be a classic in that sense. Don't know. It's too early to tell. But again, if you're, uh, if you speak Italian, let me give you some feedback. I would love to hear from you. This is my first Italian song, man, Cabanata. I, I, I love it. I love it. I love this whole album. It's really been just an upbeat thing. I, I play it in my car all the time, although I probably should stream from YouTube to get the hits, right, to get the clicks. Uh, but listen, do me a favor. Go to 
Holy Joe Rock and Roll, uh, search for Holy Joe Rock and Roll LDMF, you'll find the posting that was done by CD Baby, and you'll see the playlist there. And, uh, you know, obviously I should paste it in this, in the description below. I'm going to try to do that. I'll have to go back to all these videos and put it in there. But um, you could just hit the playlist and then say play all. And of course, there may be commercials uh, if, if you don't have the, um, you know, the commercial free version of YouTube, but whatever, click, click through the commercials and you can listen to the whole album from start to finish the way I intended to be listened to and enjoy it. And I hope you do. It's available on Apple Music, on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, uh, Bandcamp, and over a hundred other music platforms. I hope you'll listen to it. I hope you'll enjoy it. And I hope you'll give me some feedback on uh, what you liked about the the album and in particular, this song in particular, Carbonara. Or Carbonara. All right. Thanks again for listening. This has been Holy Joe. This has been uh, 10 short videos highlighting behind the scenes of the 10 songs on my new album, Love, Dancing, Music, and Fun. And I hope you enjoyed it and give me some feedback. Take care now.